marks and your colours, complementary colours from the colour wheel. So I've got blue, purple and yellow. I've got them squirted out there on my palette with some card as well and my photograph to work from. I hold my pencil like this. This way is for writing. You don't need to hold it like this until the very end. Hold it like this to make your marks fluid. Sometimes I roll the pencil to make the marks full of energy. Draw your face. scrunched up paper towel dabbed in the paint to create textured marks for shadow. I put the shadow wherever I feel it needs it looking at the photograph. So I'm using my blue and my purple. just a guideline for me. Now I'm using the yellow as my highlights. I use my card to create different types of sharp marks and smudgy marks. Now I'm going back in with my drawing, putting in the marks that were hidden by the paint. I use a biro and I'm using it as if I was writing. This looks a little out of proportion for me, too wide a face. So I'm going to use white paint to knock it back. I never rub anything out. So I'm using the white paint to cover it up. I leave all the marks that I've made as mistakes there behind. Now I'm painting with a little bit of yellow and white put together to put in the face and the skin tones. I'm using my purples for shadows. Oh, the dribble was nice, so I, I decided to do more of that. More of the purple shadows in, but they're a little, little bit more faint this time. More of the card to create sharp lines. More drawing, this time I'm using my pencil again. Now I'm putting in the real highlights, the very white areas. Drawing again, adding texture, cross-hatching. I use the background to really push the face into shape. And the hair squiggled in. Finally, I'm painting in the eyes and the nose and the mouth. A little bit more drawing. Like a Koshka painting.